Welcome to the BSG Podcast, the podcast where pop culture and nerd culture meet. You think it's just going to be barbecue sauce? Because if you actually read those books, it's just gobbledygook. I really think clothes should be mandatory. Um, speaking of Star Wars, trailer reaction video. <laughs> you know what we forgot to do? What did we forget to do? Got to announce our winner. Oh, yeah. We got 100 subs. wonder if I should loop, like edit this into the... Nah. <laughs> nah. Nah. 100 subs. Uh, $25 gift card. We held a drawing in which Greg drew names out of a <laughs> basket full of rusty nails and also right. names. There's both of those things included. <clears throat> Nails and names. Nails and names. Immediately went to the emergency room to get a tetanus shot. <laughs> Always good to get your tetanus shot anyhow. Might as well have a reason. Yeah. Yeah. So we pulled we pulled names. Uh, everybody who made their subscription public to us, which if you haven't made your subscription public to us, then you're a dumbass (laughs) i guess i mean i don't know what you're right what you're (laughs) i don't really know what else to say as far as that it's like you know there's we have oh so many so many people that have subscribed uh whatever and anyway uh i'm just rambling jared lambert is our Jared Lambert. Jared Lambert is our our um is our subscriber who has won the uh hundred dollar or hundred dollar. Oh jeez. Yeah, uh twenty-five dollar uh twenty-five dollar uh gift card. And so we will hook congratulations give reach out to Jared and hook him up with uh with a twenty-five dollar gift card and a thank you note signed in Greg's tetanus blood. Yes, always. I sign everything in tetanus blood. Speaking of tetanus blood, Chainsaw Man, episode seven. The uh, team is left on the eighth floor, and Denji has decided he will enter the belly of the beast to save everyone and go full chainsaw cut everything down to size when he gets weakened he cuts and drinks the blood of the devil which refuels him to allow him to continue to cut to the point where the devil is just basically submits like here's my heart just yeah get rid of it Please. just kill me i'm done you you've, you've, you've <laughs> so done funny. it and then <laughs> excuse me a uh, little bit more, a little bit more backstory on the eye patch character known as Kimono. And they decide to get everyone together for a little barbecue slash some drinks and see where everybody's kind of at on the team, see how everybody's doing. And she gets a little drunk and decides to pay off Denji for his killing of the devil and decides that she's going to give him the full tongue and a little bit extra because she pukes in his mouth. And then as the episode concludes, she carries him home and they're getting ready to get X-rated. So, Greg, Chainsaw Man, episode seven. Uh, I did not enjoy this episode that much. Oh, uh, wow. I really liked the beginning where he like does all that, but when it was them just drinking and then the puke just threw me all off. Uh, did you like I how thought, it like, was blurred out? I did like how it was blurred out. 
that was yeah. really funny, but it just really grossed me out to a very high degree. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, the episode still did like backstory. It was all that. And it was funny that they were like getting hammered. That was all funny, but just the grossness. Uh, and it was a big chunk. Like it was a good like five minutes of that happening and then leading to like the aftermath. And then, like you said, going back, but it was just so gnarly. Uh, yeah, it was it was too much. Like the rest of the episode was fine. I mean, him cutting up the thing is just standard chainsaw band fare, which is great. Uh, and I like it was like it may taste disgusting or whatever, but uh, you know, whatever tastes delicious if I win or whatever. That was funny. Yeah. Uh, and when they're like talking about him being like crazy, they're like wa- observing him doing his thing, and they're like, "Yeah, I think he's a little out there." and like, yeah he is and yeah. like that was funny so i shouldn't say like i just like the episode i liked it fine until i just didn't like it at all with that scene it was funny and i liked that they blurred it out that was hilarious and then like in the end credits thing it was like it was like color it was weird it was like because i watched that end credits thing because it was like this is weird and mm, yeah so i, I don't think it I was just that it's very funny because I it, I had it on my phone, so I was just kind of like doing other things, and I like turned and looked, and I was like, "Oh, this is funny." It's like neon puke, kind of oh, like what our backgrounds look like. It was like yeah. that, but uh, so not puke, but still just but being blurred out was hilarious. Yeah, there was some there but was gross. some there were some plot points worth discussing in this episode, mainly that the devils are getting more aggressive and they seem to be targeting Denji. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, excuse me. And I think the reason there is because he's, I mean, you saw what he did. He can just, he can kill another devil and refuel. If they hurt him, he's like, ah, just cut your arm off and drink your, drink your arm blood. And I'm good to go. And so he seems very, very, very unbeatable at this point. And I'm interested to see what they're able to throw up against him where he is going to get knocked down. That's sort of one of the, of an anime series. I know I use the word when we talk about the show tropes a lot, but it is kind of standard fare to see a character who you kind of think is completely unstoppable to then become stopped. And he has to, figure out how he's going to improve himself to be able to conquer the next challenge. And so I'm curious to see how that goes, because this is only a 12 episode season, which means we have five episodes left. I do appreciate the fact that there's no filler in this. And I think I mentioned this last week that the fight between Denji and that, that devil if this was like Naruto or Dragon Ball Z or uh, Full Metal Alchemist or some of these other Bleach, one of these longer running anime series, that would have taken five episodes. And they resolved it pretty much in about four and a half minutes, if yeah. even that long. And so I'm very appreciative to the fact that there's just no there's just no filler in this. The the overarching like there's enough like threads like okay we're gonna pull on these threads a little bit week by week to have like an interesting ongoing plot but it seems like whereas for example when we would talk about she hawk it was like okay she's the a plot and the b plot is pug and her assistant like getting these getting this outfit or whatever the b plot in in chainsaw man is just him being super horny right like and like everybody being that way kind of so it's kind of like it's funny i think it is it does kind of make me i'm not brutish or anything but it does kind of make me as an almost 40 year old man a little bit i don't know if uncomfortable is the word but it's just like okay like we get right. it, right? You know, right. We, I think it's more of that than anything. There, we get it. He's a hornball, and it's it's funny. And then he gets fucking puke in his mouth. What would you do if that ever happened to you? Wow, uh, I'm actually surprised it never has. But uh, wow, I don't even know. I mean, I probably would just throw up. I probably would just throw it back on I, the person. Yeah, it probably like unintentionally throw back up on the person. I would just yeah. that would be 
I'm not like I like throw up isn't something that when I see someone throwing up it doesn't make me gag. The idea yeah. was him getting it back, like the right. throw up going in his mouth was what grossed me out. So seeing someone throw up is not <laughs> like something that I'm like, oh my god, like I don't. But if that happened to me, I would definitely just like probably just throw right back up on the person. It would just be, I think it'd be involuntary because the taste and everything would just be yeah, so sure. nasty. What do you think is worse when you're sleeping with somebody? And I don't mean sleeping with them, like doing the deed, but I mean, like right. you're just in bed, you know, right? sleeping, right? Which do you think would be worse? Like the person throwing up, not necessarily even on you, just in general, mm-hmm. throwing up or piss in the bed. I'm going to go with B is worse. Piss in the bed? Yeah, I think that's worse. Yeah. Shout out Kayla on the challenge when she was in bed with Corey Wharton and she pissed herself. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> come on the show. Didn't think that that, uh, I'll tell you what, when we started Chainsaw Man, didn't think that would come up. No, definitely not. <laughs> Surprises throw around up. every corner. Throw up uh, is gross, but yeah. Yeah, would be worse. Yeah, for sure. I don't know, man. I think throwing up would be worse. I think I'd rather. I think I could deal with pee more than throw up. Because it depends on I, what I, the just, person just had to eat. Make Yeah, I mean, because if it was so like something difference. like gnarly, you know what I mean. If it was like, oh yeah. god, I just threw up like an extra large just... burrito bowl from Chipotle. You having a, you having yeah, a hard time zero. right now? I just don't get a little, I'm just thinking about it. I'm just thinking about it. Thinking a little queasy. Still, yeah. Just a like, bit. The, like the bean chunks. Yeah. That'd be like, so maybe nasty. like some like curdled milk or something. I just, anytime any of this happens where people are like, Oh, I threw up in bed or I like pissed bed. It's like, I have been all kinds of like inebriated or whatever. And I've always made it to the brush. I never, yeah. And, I mean, I guess like maybe I haven't been that kind of inebriated where I could just mm. be in the bed and not even realize it. That is probably a thing where it happens, but that is gross either never, way. N- I never, can't believe it. I am surprised we have gone this direction. Yeah, me too. Never, no, I've never, um, never peed the bed. Throw it up. You know, I don't, I don't think I've but, I, I, not even, I must say, I never really, no, I've never done that. I was really sick one time and came very um, close to it because I woke up like mid, I think, like uh, I had like a really bad flu. But... You... Uh, never mind. That's a story for another day. Uh, okay. Chainsaw Man. Moving on. Chainsaw Man. Uh, final thoughts. Uh, I mean, I still like you know just keep give up the violence, kick out the puke. Yeah. I threw up one time when I was like maybe third, 12 or 13. And I don't know why I remember this, but it was, I'd eaten like an entire can of planters peanuts. And so it was just, wow. it was just an amalgamation was, of peanut. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't taste bad I, coming up though. I, mean, I used to sleepwalk peanut. a lot about from yeah. five to four to seven years ago. And that time, that time period, I slept walk a lot, but nothing, nothing too bad. I don't think ever happened. I did walked out in the middle of the street but it was where I lived in Goleta, California here, where it was a very, I woke up with like, holy crap, I'm in the middle of the street. That was weird. Mm. But I don't sleepwalk anymore, I think, as far as I know. Were you just trying to get it off of vomit? With that <laughs> yeah. story? Okay. <laughs> I was oh, just yeah. trying to think of anything weird that may have happened. I think that's maybe the weirdest for me. Were you can... drinking? No, I was no. sleep. I was just flat out sleepwalking. Uh, I've done that a little bit. Yeah, there's always like the illusion of spiders involved when I'm sleepwalking. So I don't know uh, what that means, but mostly, most of the time, I just wind up standing in the corner, masturbating. <laughs> no, oh. uh, none of that. <laughs> but I have woke. Up, I have. I have sleptwalk and then wake up, and I have no idea where I'm at, even if I'm mm. in my house. That's scary mm. and weird. Yeah, yeah. Steve, he's the one that does that in the corner. Get back there, Steve. Yeah. Get in the corner. Get back in the corner, Steve. <laughs> All right, let's move on. 